Step 5. Creating inclined beams and defining the intersection priority of beams and columns. Activate the appropriate view in the navigator. Open the Beams Settings dialog box. Define height as 0 0.70 and beam width as 0 0.30. Type 0 for the value of the relative height. Activate the Inclined button and set the slant angle to 20 degrees. Return to the floor plan view. Choose the single beam method in the info box. Produce a beam element by clicking twice in the floor plan, once at the starting point of its axis and once at the end point. Activate the marquee tool in the toolbox. Draw a selection rectangle around the previously created beam to visualize this part of your project. Select the command Show Selection or Marquee in 3D in the View Elements in the 3D View menu. Check to ensure that the internal 3D engine and the hidden line options are selected in the View 3D View mode. Click the View 3D View mode 3D Projection Settings command. Select the parallel projection and choose the side view. Click OK to leave the settings dialog box. Observe that the columns overhang the beam, so their height has to be modified. Select the first column and click again to open the pet palette. Select the stretch height with fixed angle option and stretch the column until the top of the element intersects with the inclined beam. Repeat these steps for all of the rectangular columns. When beams cross walls or columns, you can set the priority of the intersection that affects the appearance. The element with lower priority will be cut in 3D, which means that the intersection part will be removed. The higher priority element will remain intact. This applies to volume calculations as well. Select the beam and open its settings dialog box. In the floor plan and section tab page, change the value of the beam priority to 9. Return to the 3D window. As can be seen, the tops of columns have been adjusted to the bottom plane of the beam. The appearance of the elements has been updated in the floor plan window as well.